suspect after a drive-by shooting. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Morgan Chesky. Ariel has the night off. Morning gunfire barely missed a paper boy after a wild police chase across the metro. KCO's Brian Schlonsky is live with how this all went down. Brian. Yeah, Morgan, neighbors are pretty worried about this. These three teens stole a car, then they shot at that newspaper delivery man, then they led police on a chase over to the northeast side where we are now. Now, police did arrest two of those teens, and tonight they're on the lookout for the third. This usually quiet southeast side neighborhood echoed this morning with gunfire. Well, it seems like it's getting a little dangerous over here. After stealing a car, three teens roared through. They chose a man delivering newspapers as a target for their drive by shooting. A vehicle drove past him and fired shots at him, fired into his car. Thankfully, he was not hit by the gunfire. That car the teens took belongs to Robert Wright. This morning, I wake up, get ready to go to work, and my car is missing out of my driveway. Police chased Chased the teens for nearly 20 minutes, starting around southeast 36th and east to northeast 23rd and I-35. I still haven't seen my car yet. It, they wrecked it into an embankment, and now I'm out of the car. Two of the teens now sit in jail, but what happened on this peaceful street has rattled many. Oh, and I'm still young enough that I can defend myself, but there's a lot of elderly people here. Which, yeah, they're pretty concerned. And, and even more are furious. I come to work every morning, try to, try to keep my bills paid, and about the time I think I'm starting to get ahead, something, something bad happens. Now, police are still looking for a third suspect in this crime, and they say they do know who it is, and they want you to know that you should consider him armed and dangerous. We'll have more info coming up tonight at 10.